and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to yet another episode of The Most Toxic, <laughs> Truthful, Spontaneous, Spicy Show in the World. Ladies and gentlemen, and my live studio audience is here. Y'all show your love and give it up. It's Trigger Alive. Make some noise. We love this show. This is uh it's been a healing, it's been a healing, very healing show for me. You know, it's just uh expanded my my thought process and my uh uh, my, 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 my opinions and my viewpoints. But this episode is being brought to you by Engorge Rejuvenation Tea, promoting erections, improving size, stamina, and libido. Make sure you go to Engorge.com, that's E-N-G-O-R-G.com to get yours today. If you really want to give her that pressure, if you really want her to call back after the first time, you definitely need some Engorge, okay? It's not about the honey pack no more. We sipping that Engorge Rejuvenation Tea. Trust me, I used it last week. The last time I had sex was last year. It's last year, I said last week. Last year, I... Okay, I'm lying. It is what it is. Uh, get some engorged today. <laughs> Man, a lot of things going on in the world. But first and foremost, we got to get those likes up. Y'all know I can't start this show until we get to 20 likes. It's free to like the, it's free to like the video. Don't be a hater all your life. I got some beautiful ladies here, some very important people here, and you definitely going to want to see this. And so we need to go ahead and get them likes button. Yeah, 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 yeah. So go ahead and mash that like button right quick for me. Everybody, go ahead. We having a like party. This is Trigger Alert, the late show. And man, oh man, we got some people in the building today. And I've had a day. I've had a day. Biz, I was just talking to you about um, I'm 16 pounds down. So you've been getting in there. Bro. Turn me up. Turn me up. Bro. Turn me up. Yeah, you in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm 16 pounds down. Day 41 of the lifestyle change. You know, I actually like to taste the water. How you feeling right now? I, I, I feel rejuvenated. No, not rejuvenated. Man, I feel like I'm 21 again. You know, no. I was I was out there shooting ball at LA Fitness the other day, you know, and after the dude stopped rapping for me, you know, we actually got to play. Mm. And it it was it was dope, you know. Mm. What I mean, it was it was dope. So so niggas still rapping at you at uh, LA Fitness, yeah, that bro. That goes our monetization. Shouts out to the ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> if you don't want to monetize, let Biz on. Oh the man, don't do me that. It ain't two minutes, right? It ain't two. <laughs> it's okay, sir. Okay, forget it. Yeah, nah. Um, I've been doing like cardio, cardio, like just every day is a cardio day, and then I've been doing like uh, sit ups, push ups, um, in the sauna. So what I cardio mean? You running? Yeah, I be running. I, well, okay. I, be, I be walking. Okay. <laughs> On the incline, though. Okay. The incline ain't no hoe. You know, anything about fitness you teaching me right now, you know, I'm naturally buff. <laughs> I'm naturally buff. You're naturally so in I, there. Yeah, I don't even play those type of games, sir. You know, um, as far as world news is going to concern, uh, Rallo is coming oh, to the news. Oh, man. Don't do that, man. Damn, bro. It's, 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 it's a tough one. Get them likes up, man. Listen, <laughs> we got a spicy show for you today. Rallo is coming to news. Did you did you hear did you hear the phone conversation? You know what? I seen it and I ain't press play, bro. Cause you know I ain't gonna lie. Nigga was campaigning for Rallo. Nigga was fucking with his motion, man. You know what I mean? So I don't. Uh, it's looking ugly, brother. It's looking real ugly in the community right now. You know what I mean? So from what? You, so you haven't heard? I didn't. I didn't press play. I'm gonna keep it all the way on the one. Ooh. I seen it. And I was like, Ugh. everybody in the comments, if you've heard that Rallo phone conversation, uh, go ahead and give us your thoughts on that in the, yeah, 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 yeah. In the comments, and we'll we'll definitely read those. Anybody that uh, likes the video, we'll definitely read your comments, man. We appreciate y'all. Yeah, it's uh, it's ugly. I just think people shouldn't do, just don't do crime. Just just live a regular normal life. No, nah, bro, people just gotta understand when you do crime, it's two sides to the crime. See, they just talk about when you be in the club and the VIP in the section with the bottles and all the good times and the women and the materialistic things, but it's a whole nother side to the game and a lot of people not ready for that side. They ready for the good, but they really not ready for the bad when it goes sour. I'm not, I'm not gonna jump out on the limb and say that he is the S word. But it's 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 just so because the 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 code itself is so oh hazy. ain't no more code ain't it's no more so code. hazy it's such it's no. so much gray it's just basically like if you tell the police officer your name oh you snitching nigga you know what I'm saying it's just like it's just better just to just 
Don't commit crimes. Yeah, they make sidewalks for a reason, bro. It's a lot of streets, but it's sidewalks that run right alongside them streets, uh, sirs and ma'ams. So you can walk on the sidewalk. You do not have to be in the streets. And if you know you're not built like that, don't let nobody like. I hate to say pill. But Rallo pressure. is built like that, from what well, I know. Well, if he told, he's not. I'm, I'm not, not going to say he not, did, not, but if he told, he's not. You know what I'm saying? We ain't sugarcoating it. We not moving no goalposts. <laughs> If you told, you told. If you did the gunner, you did it. It ain't no, it ain't no, you know what I mean? We gonna keep the same energy for everybody. Ladies you know and what gentlemen, saying? ladies and gentlemen, business views and opinions are his and his own own and do not stand for ugly. Nah, like Rallo, Rallo would want me to talk like this. Come on now, he gotta, he gotta stand on some type of business. If you told, you told, brother. I mean, we're, we're you gonna, can't get mad at us for talking about you telling. Well, you know, Young Thug put Gunner's uh, music. In took his, it down just as quick as it was up. Though. But he put it up though. Took it down just as quick. But I ain't saving Gunner neither. He's under suspect. He's not right in the community either. He's not right. So, you know, he's not a good person to use in this, as an example in this topic. So if you want to tell me about somebody not telling, give me uh, give me, give me, me Bobby Schmurter. That's my guy. Bobby yeah, drop a bomb for Bobby Schmurter. I like Bobby Schmurter. He took his time. He knew what the hell he was doing yeah, in the streets. And when the people told him it was time to sit down, he didn't try to remix the, the, the code. Yeah. He didn't try to do, he didn't try to salute Bobby Schmurter. I don't care if he don't drop another song yeah. till whenever. I'm rocking with his program because he stand on business. We need to salute niggas like that that stand on business. Y'all niggas that, that, love the streets, but y'all don't love the consequences. Niggas love to call you with when you're getting jammed. Now you want to put a nigga in your mix. You ain't want to call a nigga when you had all the money flowing. Mm. You ain't want to call a nigga when you was out of town mm. and, and on vacation and when the waters was blue and the sand was nice and all that. Yeah. But when you get your ass jammed up, you want to split the time with a nigga. You yeah. feel me? I like, feel, I, feel. I don't respect it. It's whole shit. If you're not built like that, bro, get out the way, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, nothing yeah. wrong. It's nothing wrong with having a nice job and taking care of your family. There's, I don't know why niggas feel like it's wrong to work, bro. When do we get to the point niggas feel like it's wrong to work, bro? Well, that leads us to our conversation of today. I think you know when you know when it stopped being cool to work Probably. is when women stopped like liking to date working men. Ooh. You know what though? Hey, hey, you know what? You know what? You got a very great point because when we was in here last show yeah. and the nigga was talking about some regular nine to five shit, everybody, all the women, we y'all were about here. We're going to talk about it. All the women laughed and kikied and I had to stop them right there and I see that's why niggas be snitching and telling <laughs> because they be scared. To, look, because look, I'm going to tell you, here it go, here it go. Yeah. Nigga, nigga, nigga know, you know what I'm saying, they ain't built like that, but nigga don't want to get looked at like on some I guess some square shit or some lame shit or I don't know how working and getting money is square lame. A job. But I'm you feel a job. me? But niggas be feeling like they Walmart don't want to look me. a certain way. Walmart. You know what I'm saying? Walmart. They want to get with these young ladies and they can't say they coming from McDonald's drive through and Walmart. We they they going to be me. looking like, whoa, who, you came from where, sir? I'm you know what I'm saying? I'm getting a job. So, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, y'all got to just nothing wrong with working, bro. Get you a job, get sir. Get you a job, man. Ain't nothing wrong with it. All right, man. So let's go ahead. We have a, a I mean, a talented, intelligent, gorgeous, inspiring panel tonight. Wow. I mean, this is wow. See, th those are all the adjectives all right, that I now use these to describe important people. Generally. Talk about it. Uh, uh, starting, starting to your left, Mr. Biz, uh, Miss Candy. Can you please introduce yourself? Let these folks know where to follow you at and what you have going on. Yeah. So my name is So Candy. You can follow me on Instagram at Real So Candy. Um, and I am an artist. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm from Illinois. And I'm getting ready to drop a new single. Yeah, 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 ugly morning. Shouts out to Real So Candy. She's prettier in person, though. She's real right life. beside you now. In real life, she looks. She looks way better I just than the flicks on the ground. I just remember her at the Ugly Money Music Summit. No, I seen her. I, that's where I seen her. Yes. I feel like I did see her you somewhere. Her hair grew. Short, a short vibe. You was going short vibe. Okay, okay. No, but I'm going to tell you the funny part about it was. I'm going to tell you the funny part. When she performed, everybody else performs, right? Mm -hmm. No cameraman's around. As soon as she performed, we had, she 30, we had 37 <laughs> cameramen. Good. Everybody was just... <laughs> I was like, damn, I ain't got that many niggas on payroll. <laughs> <laughs> Shouts out to So Candy, man, in the building. Uh, <laughs> to her left. Go ahead, young lady. Hi, my name is VC Barbie. 
Um, I'm a woman of many things, business. Uh, I dabble in credits. So if you need your credit fixed, I can help you with your personal and business credit. Right, um, I also have a tax business. I've been having that business for the last nine seasons. Get in there. Um, I'm definitely a professional, so if you need that done still, even after the date has closed, I call at me, but you got to pay up front. <sighs> um, I also <laughs> have my you own skincare that. line. As y'all can see, my skin is flawless, flawless. so my makeup is laid. Um, and I have my own makeup line. Everything I'm wearing is mine. Nice. I'm also very talented. So I'm an actress, I'm yes. a comedian, yes. I'm funny as I don't know what. Yes. So you can follow me for more on me at the official VC, that's V as in vagina, like she said yeah, earlier, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Barbie, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all these networks. The move to the queen. All right, yes. Huh? yes. Oh, and I won the, uh, I was the only female to win the Boss Shit Only Award. Stop playing well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Women. I like boss women. You know how I'm coming. Uh, I, I, got a, I got a VC Barbie story, but we'll, we'll save it for we'll, you. We'll save it. You can Don't get started. <laughs> She's inspirational. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? Yes. <laughs> and to your left, all the way at the end. Oh. Oh, new being queen. Was it somebody else? It was you, queen. Oh, okay. Go ahead. My name is Lena Renee, and um, I am a realtor as well as I own a beauty business. Um, and I also host a podcast with In the Midst Network. Um, so you can follow me on Instagram at Lena Renee. You can follow my realtor page at it's lr.realtor. And you can find my glamour page or my beauty page at Lena's Glamour. There it is. A lot of entrepreneur vibes is, good, is in the air right yes. now. I'm liking this vibe. It's a lot of money on this yeah, stage. Yeah, this right is now. my type of vibe. Like, you know, these is the vibes so I like. Of, it's a lot of money on this. Yeah. Speaking of money, mm -hmm. I think our first topic, we should start there. That's, you know, you, you ladies are, are three beautiful, smart, intelligent, inspiring, successful black women. I know that's right. And I salute y'all for that. So the first topic of the night is. Could you date a man that made less than you? We'll start with you, Ms. Lena. Me? Sure. Um, I mean, I don't feel like I just am at the maximum potential of the money that I'm going to make. So I would say yes to that. Um, okay, nah. However, I mean, I'm a pretty motivational person, so I feel like that, you know, we can grow together. Like, where you are is not where you have to stay. I like that. So you're saying that you would date a man that made less than you? Yeah, but I mean, I expect for that, for you to grow from that. I don't expect you to stay there, because I'm not going to stay where I am, so. Okay, so just so I understand, you're saying that he can make less than you when y'all start dating, but once you get into the relationship at some point in time, he better get raised. I mean, you know, I feel like that entrepreneurship is very important, and I'm an entrepreneur. I work for myself, so I would rather date someone that is able to be an entrepreneur as well. Okay. Um, hopefully, eventually, he gets enough motivation from me or the people that he's surrounding himself with to do other things and not be clocking in. But if that's where he's starting, I'm okay with that. I mean, some kind of money is better than no money. Amen. What if he's happy with just being, he doesn't want to be an entrepreneur. You know, entrepreneurship ain't for everybody. So what if he's just happy with clocking in and he just wants to go to work and come home and run behind you? Like, what, like how that work? <laughs> Now, see, that's where the problem going to start. Run <laughs> that run behind. run behind. If you would have yeah. left the run behind out, I might would have been okay. But I'm saying, I'm saying, what I'm trying to get at, and long story short, is that, you know, he might just be a regular worker. Like, you're saying a lot of things about entrepreneurship and stuff like that, but that's not, you know, sometimes that's not for everybody. So he might not want to have a payroll and a staff and do all that. He might want to just go get his money and leave or whatever. So do you think you'll be able to, I like, mean, nah, it depends on what he doing. Like, when y'all was talking about somebody working at McDonald's, no, I'm not going to be okay with somebody working at McDonald's, yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. that's all you want to do is work at McDonald's. Okay. No, okay, now, okay, so. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you, if you got a, a corporate job and you, 
your own salary or something and you comfortable <laughs> with that, oh. then that's okay. Not I mean, you know, I mean, salary. Okay, I hear that. A pop, salary. Pop it. Pop a it. Salary. Pop it. Yeah, like I mean, it ain't got to be six figures, but again, as you grow older, you grow more wise, you do better for yourself. You're not supposed to stay. I'm not going to be with somebody that's not growing, entrepreneur. Not growing. But you know he can work mean? just regular, but he don't have to own the shit. That's, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm okay with that. Okay, okay, that's what I was trying to figure okay. out. Then it got to be a good job, though. It can't be just like no, you know what I mean? The dollar store. Yeah, you, gotta have you know, health, it got to be, yeah, it gotta okay, be a good it. job if I'm he ain't it. an I'm entrepreneur. With it. I'm with it. Yeah. Okay, I'm not triggered. Yeah, yeah, I ain't triggered. Go ahead, man. BC Barber, same question. I would have to say yes. If he's ambitious, yeah. You know, I mean, there's plenty of men that don't make the kind of money that I make already. So I'm not against being with somebody that, you know, actually is ambitious, but just isn't there yet. Because maybe I have in me what that person needs, mm. you know, so I'm not against them being someone that's lower than me as far as pay grade is concerned, as long as there's a goal, you know, at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, you got to have a plan. You got to you got to have some kind of motivation going for yourself because I have goals for my life. So I would want to be with somebody that the goals, our goals line up. Like I want mm -hmm. this kind of house. I want that kind of car. I want to do this kind of stuff with my life at this age. You know, I won't just be with anybody like just because he has a job. No, but we have to be on the same page. Mm -hmm. like, like, okay. They making sense tonight, they making a lot of shit. All right, I guess we ain't tripping. Okay, it's all good. We, we don't got to trip on this show. If it's real, it's real. Some people think we bring the women up here to trip. No, we don't. We no. just chop it up with them, and we just, it's a vibe. We're not tripping if they ain't tripping. No. Talk to them, Candy. What's, your, what's the vibe? Okay, my opinion is yes. Be I honest. Would, I, no, no, dead ass, dead ass, dead ass. I would definitely be with a guy that I make more money with. Uh, make more money than, I'm sorry. Um, just because I feel like, just like a guy can level a woman up, I feel like a woman can definitely level a man up as well. So, Your I don't glasses know. make me feel like you're not going for it though. Those glasses, <laughs> it's the glasses that's throwing me off this like, nah, no. he gotta have, he gotta be on no, some he shit. No, he doesn't. <laughs> okay. If, because I'm not gonna fuck with a nigga that like, I and, work at Walmart. This, What's wrong with no, Walmart? I'm saying, I pro, I, nothing's wrong with Walmart. But if you, I work at but, Walmart, I want to tap in. I want to, you, you know, work link. at Walmart. Yeah, I work at Walmart. S swear to God, lying. No, no. Oh, you do. I work at no. Definitely not. <laughs> hell no. I work at speaking. But I work. Hell hell I work. Hell I work. You at my job right now? But I'm saying, uh, if he worked at Walmart and he's, you know. A regular, where he's got benefits. He might not have the best benefits. I think they get 401ks. Don't they do that? Walmart, he's a, Walmart, Walmart he's, take care yeah, of Walmart has, get good sure. I'm not, We not talking down on Walmart. I'm saying he's a regular worker, though. Right, but he might have dreams and aspirations to be doing something different. So, like, if, I'm, if I fuck with you and we're having, like, whatever conversations and shit like that and you have other shit that you're interested in doing and I can help you get there. Like, I, I mean, if I fuck with you, I fuck with you. Like, I, I mean, it's what it is. Hey, Nietzsche, you know what I'm hearing, Nietzsche? What's up, bro? Something is a common theme that I'm hearing from these ladies when they say this. Right? I'm listening. Nigga, you gotta have a plan. They not going yeah. for that shit. They don't, yeah. you can't be there working and forever doing whatever you trying to goddamn do and whatever you trying to do. But what I'm saying to that is, some of these niggas ain't no businessmen. Y'all are thinking in the potential of y'all of entrepreneurs and knowing how, you know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm not. Y'all might think. I'm not. He might want to be the GM. Okay, no, you just, you said something different. Okay, but I feel like y'all like, nah, for, he could have, he better have a plan. Like, he could work there for two more months or some yeah. shit like that. But, <laughs> but nigga, after that, he got this, something got to shake. It got to happen now. You know what I'm saying? So that's the vibe I get from Okay, her. so my question is, okay, I work at Goodyear Tire up the street. Handyman. Yeah, I make I thirteen. Like I make thirteen ninety five an hour. Um, Yikes. how long? Somebody said "oh shit" in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody <laughs> said "yikes," and it was me. This, this. Uh, I make thirteen ninety five an hour. How long do I have to make more than you if I met you at what club we at now? At uh, at, at King of Diamonds, I met you at King of Diamonds, in the VIP. First of all, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't my yeah. VIP. <laughs> it wasn't my VIP. It was my homeboy's VIP. 
But I met you. I was, you know, I, I was enamored by you. And uh, we exchanged what information. What that word mean? Not to cut you off. I was first. intrigued. Enamored? I was intrigued. My bad. Go ahead. That's my T.I. words. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I meet you at King of Diamonds in my homeboy section. I'm attracted to you. I work at Goodyear. Thirteen ninety five an hour. We start, ch- we start kicking it, you know, um, and you like me and I like you. How long do I have to level up? I don't feel like it's a time frame. I feel like that if we getting to know each other, then you need to step up to the point where you make me want you. And if not, then it, then I'm not going to want you. Because 13, 25, you better not have no kids. Yeah, I got four. Because that means you got child support coming out that 13, 25. For sure. And you ain't bringing home nothing but probably about $500. So how much time do I have with my 500 per check <laughs> before you go look to other pastures? What's we can point? be friends. What? <laughs> <laughs> friends don't get pussy. That sounds like the pussy's over with. It sounds like that yes. friend, hold on, you make 500 Oh. It sounds like I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be changing her yeah, tires on the car. Yeah, I mean, dead. how would y'all feel if the woman wasn't doing nothing though? See, look, this is the that's a great look. question. Wait, yeah. Yeah. Now, hold on, oh, I, I because y'all, go because ahead. he don't want the woman to do nothing. He want to be able to do what he want to do and pay the bills. And who then said, who said? What's I've heard that where, come out your mouth where, several is times. Is that how you feel, Nisha? Yes, semantics. Yes, that's hey, listen, how you feel. Semantics. You know what it is, though. I'm gonna be honest. Men and women mind frames are built differently. Ooh. See, men, men, we don't date for security and y'all don't, and that's a problem. I'm not. It's a problem. It, it could be. I'm not saying we didn't make the rules, ma'am. It's been going like this before I started dating. Before you started dating. Yeah, but if you know better, you do better. <clears throat> and I'm gonna give you an example. Check this out. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you an example. Right. Watch this. Okay. If it was a man that had fifty thousand. A year he's making. Get them likes up. There's a man that has five hundred thousand a year he's making, right? Mm -hmm. They equal, meaning they look good to you. They got everything that they, you know. One is a uh, he could be a tech nigga starting up his little company. One is a doctor. They both equal to y'all. Everything about them, y'all like. Which one you gonna go with? The one who I mesh with the best. Ma'am, I ask you a question. It's two of them. (laughs) Ah. What I'm saying, I'm it's showing you. Not, I'm showing you. Can we keep it? Hold on, hold on. Can we keep it hundred? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna show you how many it is different. I'm gonna show you something. Just you can. It's nothing wrong with you saying five hundred. The pay 000. is only the only thing different. The only thing different is about I'm the man. Definitely is the going with the five hundred k. I mean, Candy? yeah, I'm going the five hundred k. Ma'am, the five hundred k. Okay, yeah. now look. If it was a nigga, right, and he was trying to date a female, and one made fifty thousand. And one made five hundred thousand. It's not guaranteed the niggas picking the woman, the, the one that makes five hundred thousand. If that, 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 that ugly money. You see what I'm if they have everything, because every, look, I'm a, if they have everything on. that's I'm the same. I'm a man. Let me talk for the man part. Listen, <laughs> a nigga's not worried the about niggas that. Going for the five hundred. Listen, hold on. Listen, <laughs> niggas don't date women based on their financial status. That, that, that's that never money. been something that a nigga does. Now, you, I'm not going to say there's not men out there, wooty wop bam. I'm, I'm talking about, about in general purposes, general purposes. A nigga goes for their happiness first. Nigga going to look and say, oh, I like her right there. Nigga oh, going to find out at, later on if she make 50000 500000 Nigga just, just going to look and take what they like. But you that's say what they're the same. But that's what I'm saying. It, they're the same, so a nigga don't care about the bread. Nigga's going to look and say what they like. She make 50, she make 500. Nigga ain't going to look and say, man, you need another I'm going to take example. one over 500. Yeah, we, yeah, we need another example. Need a better example because your example not exampling. They're identically, they're identically attractive to us, right? So it's two women. So it's y'all two. We just going to take two women. It's y'all two right here. Beautiful. Y'all both in front of a, mm. a nigga, right? Nigga's not going to be like, man, who make more? That's the type of shit that women do. No, I'm saying I'm not hating. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying y'all doing nothing wrong. That's just how women date uh, with security in mind. And there's nothing wrong with that. But niggas don't. Niggas date what they like. Niggas date see and look and be like, man, I like this. I want to talk to her. Nigga don't give a fuck. Oh, she got 50, 100. No, I want to talk to her. I like her. She look like that's what I want to talk to right there. I'm going to say niggas that don't know better date like that. It's because like, I know a lot of niggas that don't date like that. 
Okay, it's been like this since the beginning of time. Before I was dating, you was dating, it we was dating, matter. they was dating. That's just how women think. That's the difference. What how she you said. know how women think? Because I've had enough of y'all up here to understand what y'all talking this about. This is trash. But that ain't got nothing to do with the ones that's up here right now, though. So, we, but, but we're, we're, we're so not you, gonna, so hold on, you hold on, just hold on, said you, you said, you you said they was identical, though. You said they was everything was the same about both of them. Okay. We would have to there do a poll with some men to be honest with you to say this for real. Blah, but because there might be a guy that has of, 50 Moral of the story, ma'am, is all of y'all are taking 500000 is what I'm true. trying to say. That's y'all true. all just said you would, though. I'm, yes, I'm triggered. Hold on. So, 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 I so, something? So, I think, I think what you're trying to say is, for instance, for, uh, Candy, I need to you know. make $50,000 a year. Say you make $50,000 a year. And BC Barbie makes five hundred thousand dollars a year. Now, given both of y'all are very beautiful, and you know what, y'all are equally beautiful and bad as hell. Okay. All right. My, I'm not gonna choose BC Barbie over So Candy just because she because she makes money. I'm gonna go for the person that makes me happy. Mm. So at the I end of the day. <laughs> That's why we asked but what was the difference so between the, the two. Well, I said the same he's thing that you said. Like so I'm, I'm it's a Nietzsche so and a Nietzsche go twin. Guy. Same nigga, same thoughts, same Me and everything. Casino are and right here, right? Me and Casino, right? Because they, they say I look like him. But that's not the same him. thing, though, because y'all are two different We're people. not the same person. What I'm saying is we're equally attracted to you. That's, that's what, I'm, what I'm getting at, y'all. You know what I'm both, saying? When, like I, see, when I see BC they... Barbie on Instagram, I double tap that motherfucker. When I see you, I double tap, too. That's what I'm saying. Different people, same attraction level. You feel what I'm saying? They both bad as hell. They're not, we're not going to base our opinion. We're not going to base the woman that we talk to on what she makes. We're going to base Never the fact. Never we do that. Yeah, we're going to base the fact on. Hey, women do that. It's, no. That's what I'm saying. That's the difference. It's okay, not but we literally, that. I said, before you said that, right? You said the boys was on equal playing field. Exactly. Besides okay. The, besides so the money. If the woman was on equal playing field. Okay. And you know for a fact mm-hmm. that if something happened to you today. This woman right here so not could have like your back. Let her cook. Not, let her cook. Okay, let her cook. I mean, go ahead, you, you know for a fact, Nietzsche, that this woman right here, she could have your back. They got the same quality. Everything with right. them is the same. Right. You mean to tell me you're not going to pick her? Fuck no. That's weird. Well, what's going to make you let pick me, the let other one? break way? it down. That's weird. See, there's a difference between, the difference between men and women is the fact that we actually date for love. Oh, Lord. We date for love. Y'all keep going back Hold to this on. whole I, different dynamic. Are y'all triggered? Though, are y'all triggered? They're not the same. I, I think, think somebody's triggered. triggered. I think they're triggered. I'm getting triggered. Right, let me tell you something. We date for love. Thing. Hold on, God damn it. Hold on. I'm going to meet your mic. Let me tell you something. Hold on. I gotta let y'all talk about that shit for 10 minutes, God damn it. And it's time to get to the real. Listen, we date for love. Meaning, I don't need you to pay my bills. I don't need you to take care of me. All I need you to do is promote, is empower me, motivate me, and feel like I can go and take over the world. That's what I'm looking for you. That's why when most of the time when men and women break up, the man is crushed because he was literally there to genuinely. He genuinely loved that woman. Now, the woman can genuinely love him, but a lot of the times she loves what he can do for her. Hey, he can teach women me things. Love security. Hey, he can teach me things. Hey, he can he can give me a better life style all the things that he brings to her you feel what i'm saying we here because god damn it we be laughing about friday next friday and it's a, it's, a, it's a part of the movie where we both fucking laugh that nobody else knows about and we have some weird ass connection that's what men go for we don't really i don't care how much you make i don't i care do you make me happy are my nuts empty when i walk out the house <laughs> Talk to them, you know they're not listening. Do, Break do, it down, Do brother. you make me feel like I am eight feet tall and not eight inches short? That's what I look at. I don't look at, yeah, if you make some money, that's okay. Because at no point in time is your money see, ever see. going to take care of me. I it's feel not. Like, I feel you're not like, about them two hundred dollar Jordans at Christmas time. Don't compare to this five thousand dollar mortgage. Talk to them, please. That's I'm, all I'm saying. What, and, and a nigga. Boy, I'm I feel like y'all see. prefer to have so a woman that see. ain't making that much money because y'all want to use that leverage over no, her, over nah, her see, head. Like, like, oh, I'm, I'm doing this, that, and the third. Now hold on, Miss. Hold on, Miss. I'm doing this for you. I'm doing that for you. But then, how does this sound, Miss Lena? Man, I'm gonna work sixteen hours a day. I'm gonna over exceed my white counterparts by. I'm gonna I'm gonna build this building. I'm gonna empower my, my brothers and sisters and employ people and just work my ass off just so I can go home. 
and shit on this bitch that I love. I feel like that don't make no sense. I feel like it ain't no leverage. I feel it's, like men don't really know their value anymore. <laughs> Tell them. Because Tell them honestly, in my family, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm just being honest go ahead, with cook, you. Baby. My, I'm, in my family, both of my grandmothers worked. I, I didn't experience none of that crap that all these men be talking about with the traditional marriages and stuff like that where women got beat on and cheated on and all that kind oh, of gosh. stuff. Mm-hmm. My grandmothers were actually working women. Their husbands loved them. So I don't come from that kind of DNA. Mm. So when I say what I say, I mean exactly what I said. If those men had different qualities, like you said, I would date them for love. I would go for the man that had $50,000 because he was loving on me. And I knew why didn't me and you him would. Hold on. I hate to cut you, you off, you, you love to cut me off. I'm cut sorry. Me you, when we just, when, <laughs> hold on. Cut go ahead, go ahead. I, I muted his mic. Go ahead, BC Barbie. Cut go ahead, Go ahead, BC Barbie. I muted his mic. He do that I sometimes. said 500000 because cook, at, the, it, at the end of the day, if they both are equal, then of course I'm gonna go for the man with five hundred thousand because we're both on the same we on the same totem pole already. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, I'm thinking about my kids. I'm thinking about if something was to happen to me. I'm thinking about if something was to happen to him, we would still be secure. Yeah, 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 that's that's what I'm morning. talking about. But if he's not the right guy, I'm not going for that just because he got money. I'm not going for that. I don't care what you got because I can provide for myself at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. You have to be able to be emotionally available for me and provide a safe space for me in order for me to want to deal with you. So you saying you don't need a man? I never would say that. Okay, cool. (laughs) You know I wouldn't say that. (laughs) Damn. I would never say that. I love men. No, but 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 back to what y'all was saying. It's it's not, Lena. It's not a fact of leverage. It's not. I don't. Men don't work hard to oppress women. We work hard to acquire you. It's not about oppressing, I, but, though. But, but listen, listen. My money is for us. Your money is for you. <laughs> a nigga get a bag. I'm like, I want a family. I want a house. I want a, a, two dogs and a picket fence. I want to have the most beautiful woman I can. And I want to live happily ever after as a family. We get our money to, to really share it. Women get their money to be like, Fuck these niggas. I don't got to deal with this shit. I make my own money. Oh, as women, because at the end of the day, I'm going to tell you, as a woman that was married before, I can speak for certain women. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? And in my marriage, my husband, he took care of everything as far as the Shouts household out to that was brother. concerned. Shouts out to that brother. You understand what I'm saying? Sound like but you never left him. When it came to... <laughs> I did leave him. <laughs> but when it came to... <laughs> But when it came to certain things, like if we wanted to start a business, I was saving my money. So when we wanted to start a business, I invested. If we went on vacation. The business that you now own, right? The business that I own and he owns one. So, no, the business that you own now. One is mine and one is his. But you still own your business. Yeah, I own my business. Your money is for you, Queen. That, that, That ugly money. How is my money for me because, when he still because, got his business? Because if, that nigga, if that nigga company. name is not on that damn tax business, then goddamn it, if money was for you. Oh, it's your business. Yeah. He got the trucking business. Okay, but I understand that. But that I money invested is, in. Your money is still for you, though. You own the business. It's your money. It's your so business. So forget the trucking company. We, we ain't talk about that. We, we talk about drink. the tax business. If you we say, not going to talk about I'm, okay, the trucking paying, company. If I'm paying these bills for 10 years and we married and I just stayed down and you just stacked your bread up, Right, so you so we can invest in a bit some businesses together, and at the end of the day, you ain't had to pay no bills for ten years, and you mean to tell me I get this little business that I get, and you gonna take your business? Your money was for you. Then why do I? I should get a piece of that too. My, how was my money just for me when he got to walk away with the truck? Because company? my money was for us when I was paying them bills from ten years we was married. That don't make no sense. That does make all the sense <laughs> in the world. I make maybe no, not it you. No, it doesn't. Because I do making sense. You never let I'm me. I'm making sense. <laughs> Go ahead, no, I didn't even get to finish what I was saying. So first of all, anyway, he was doing <laughs> everything in the house, but I also was doing the stuff that was in the ne- the necessities of the household. So he was what paying the like bills. That? I bought all the furniture. Mm. Okay, when mm. our kids got ready to go to school, I did that. Mm. When we went on family vacations, that was me. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I was his helpmate. Okay. So regardless of what you're saying, sir, sir. It's because you like to date bums, oh. that's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> that's not my fault. My goodness. That's not my fault. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is Trigger Alert. Get those lights up. Free gas. I respect your viewpoint, Miss VC Barbie. It is not the fact that I like to date bums. <laughs> sure it isn't. <laughs> sure it isn't. <laughs> it is the fact that I like feminine women. I like a woman that's operating in her feminine. I do not want a woman that is competing with me in my own house. I have a dick. I have balls. I do not need another pair unless it's my son in my house. So if a woman is operating in her masculine energy, it's, it's going to repulse me. I don't want to date a bum. I want to date a submissive, feminine woman. Because why in the world would I have over exceeded in my life to be able to obtain all the things that I can attain just to give it to a woman if she going to try to do the same shit I am? Have you ever... There's two plugs to this camera. There's no socket. Ain't shit about to come on. I got the plug, baby. You be the socket. But if you're trying to plug me and plug, it's too, what, that shit weird. I agree that's with all you I'm on saying. That. I want a woman that's operating in her feminine. If you want to work, baby, work. But why you can't have both? What do you mean, why I can't have both? Why? Who why says she? that? Who says that I wasn't that I, I have no problem with a woman making money, but your money doesn't matter to me. Because you're not, you're, at no point in time is your money going to take care of me. It's not really just about a woman making money so much. Mm, I'm listening. You own a business. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. So, if you, a good woman is not going to sit there and watch you build all this stuff by yourself. True. Mm -hmm. She's going to step up to the plate, even if it's just so-called being your secretary mm -hmm. and making sure that things are ran smoothly. So just in case if one day, if something just so happened to you, yeah. she can still run y'all family. I'm cool with that. And everything is still, the flow is still there. But I don't need So to, your I, lifestyle I, don't have to change. I like that. But I don't, what I don't need is her to try to be me. There's only one other Nobody, woman. nobody said that. But that's that. the kind of effect that you're coming with. Because when you're saying things like, you know what I'm saying, he got to, you know, she got to make money. Like, no, I don't require my woman to make a substantial amount of money because that's my job. As my job, I'm supposed to be there for you financially. I'm supposed to be there for you mentally. I'm supposed to be there for you spiritually, emotionally, and any kind of lead that comes up. That's my job as a man. Right. So I don't want to date bums. I want to be a man and I want you to be a woman. Is that a problem with you? No, not with me. Put your dick away and be a woman. Let's get it. I don't know. So how you I basically just out. saying uh -oh, that she's triggered. you basically just saying that a woman can't be submissive and be like a hustler too. Like no, not at it all. may just be That's in that woman. It me, may be in project, that woman. It may not be that she competing with you. It may be that she got that same drive in her that you got in you. I have no problem with my woman. Being a hustler. It sounds like you do, though, Nietzsche. It do. No, I talk because for a living. I talk very just, well. I never said anything like that. Thank you. you literally I, I talk for me, a living. I'm very good. You I'm literally very, I'm, just told me I'm to put good. my dick up, and no, my dick is not because out. Because you're trying to be a man. <laughs> How am I trying to well, be a I can, man? I can only, By making I can only, sure if something happens to you, I got your back? No, 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 no. No, that's not, that's not it. What I'm saying is a woman operating her feminine way. She operating as a woman. So and how am I not operating as peace a woman? and pleasure. That's a woman's job. Protection and provisions. That's my job. Now, at some point in time, there may be a time where I'm down and you got you to gotta amp up on the protection. Or you may be down and I got to amp up on your peace. But at some point in time, our roles need to be defined. You cannot be doing man sh I'm supposed to take out the trash, baby. Right. I'm supposed to cut the grass. That's true. It's going to look weird as hell if my ass is sitting in the goddamn car while you pumping gas outside. I'm just trying to so figure I, out I'm where I said so I'm that. What I'm basically telling you is, ma'am, stay your ass in the car. I'm going to pump the gas. And but you saying that I I'm oppressing. I'm not that. oppressing you for that. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do as a man. See, y'all talk about I want bum bitches. I think y'all niggas don't like nigga, real men. You don't want a real man? So you, so you, you're I saying you're, you're, you're going to fight back because a man wants to take care of you, because a man wants to empower you, who, who because a man that? wants to motivate you, because a man wants to show you things and teach you things. You want, you want to. That's oppression. Who, no. When did I say that? That's what you. Okay. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Gorge Rejuvenation T. Promote directions to prove the size, Steph, and Now you were saying something, uh, Miss Lena. I didn't say nothing. Uh, <laughs>
<laughs> but what, I, what all, I, all I'm basically saying it's is... It's almost like it's a problem for I'm a listening. black woman to actually want to have a black man's back these days. No, no, no. What? Y'all have an issue okay. with that Let's for some I reason. And it's I don't weird have an to me. I don't have an issue Because in my family, that. it's not set up have like that. Have my back. Have my back. It don't sound like you want but, somebody but, but, to have but your back it for sound, real. But, it's, but the way you come across is like you're trying to have my front. I'm the how, front. How did I come across like I'm because trying to have you're trying? You sound Explain like you're trying it. to be, be, give the actual res, example. Respectfully so. Okay. You have a business and I have a business, right? I have a trucking company and you have a tax business, right? Okay. My trucking company, I get a two hundred thousand dollar contract in Idaho. I need you to move. You're making two hundred thousand, two hundred and twenty thousand dollars in Georgia. Are you gonna move? Yes. Okay, you all right with me then. All right, you go. <laughs> you cleaned no that up. Example. She cleaned that up. She cleaned it up. She cleaned it up, it's bitch. It's like a woman that make money can't be submissive. No, well, well, no. Nah, it's, 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 go ahead, bitch. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. confused. No, no. I'm I don't confused know. about when I said I, I wasn't submissive because you, you know. But don't think that your money is going to define, it's going to change our roles. I would never think that. You feel what I'm saying? Don't I would think never that think money, that. My money is simply for me to have your back. Period. Point blank. And that's the end of discussion. I can respect that. I can, she's clean, she cleaned it up. She, clean, hey, she cleaned it up. <laughs> it really it's wasn't still, nothing to clean up. I said still, this from the very beginning. I, I my husband saying. was the head of my house. <clears throat> there was no discrepancy in that. The reason why him and I aren't together is because he was that's simply what I was insecure. Just ask and that's why just it, period. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. So rewind, 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 rewind. Okay. You said you and your husband split up because he was insecure? Mm hmm. Were you giving him reasons to be insecure? No, sir. Okay. <laughs> in his opinion, were you giving him reasons to be insecure, man? No. We've talked about it. So he just. Randomly just some people just come from a different type of environment and their brain pattern is just <laughs> negative. And you can't do anything about that, you know? So simply put, you had a man that was an entrepreneur, a hustler. He you y'all built businesses together. Yep. He handled his business like a man. Yep. And you left him because you felt that he was insecure. Yeah, I was tired of being a caged animal. What does that mean? What does that mean? I'm confused, and that's no disrespect. But what the hell is a cake? What does that mean? I'm gonna leave it alone. That sounds a little spicy to me. You what know was what that it mean? mean? No, I don't, ma'am. That's Come why on I'm now. asking. Whatever. What okay. you mean, like a caged animal? I couldn't do anything. Wait, no. I, if I was at you this show with y'all right now, I'm fucking you and Nietzsche. Yeah. You understand oh, yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, okay. okay, so you. Okay, okay. I get it. Well, you're right. You're right. I get that. I'm an equal, I'm an equal opportunity. I get that. But when I you right, you right. Okay, okay. And excuse me for cursing. No, you fine. You fine. Would, you, would, would that include like girls trips? Anything. You trying to go on girls trips? I could be with my mother. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's that's, that's great. Because you know, I've been in a relationship where a woman literally accused me of cheating on her every other day for like six months. Mm. That's hard to deal with. Yeah. Are you cheating? No, I wasn't, right? So I'm going to tell you a funny story. So she accused me of cheating on her. Every every 48 hours, I would get accused of cheating, right? For six months straight. And so every time she would do it, I'd be like, hey, queen, that offends me. Please stop doing that. Right. 48 hours later, she act like it never happened. Right. So six months later, I motherfucking cheated. <laughs> <laughs> Had you cheated I before. gave her what she asked for. Had you cheated before, You want to manifest this bullshit? God damn it, you going to get this bullshit. And I laid down dick dick. Had you cheated before that never, never. Never. Why you just ain't leave her alone, Nietzsche? Huh? Why you just ain't let her go? Instead Why, of cheating. Go. Yeah, just let her go. Why would I let her go? Fly, she was like a, a great woman. Butterfly. She was a great woman. She was a great woman, she but was. you wanted to cheat on her. Yeah. No, I didn't want to cheat on her. She was a great woman, she but every 48 hours. She manifested the cheating. <laughs> but every 48 hours, she, she prayed, thought she was cheating on her. manifested and spoke the cheating into existence. For six months, I never touched a woman, didn't look at a woman. I you would barely like a picture. I would barely like a picture. But if you, if you tell me, for instance, if, I, if you're a teacher and I'm a student, and you tell me every day, you know what? You're going to fail. You're a failure. You're, a fa you're stupid. You're dumb. You know what? Eventually... That nigga that making C's and B's, that nigga gonna say, fuck this stack damn test. I'm gonna fail it. 
because you manifested that. And a lot of women do that shit. They sit there accuse a man for no, with no backing whatsoever because they're insecure and then get mad when, well, baby, you just spoke this shit into existence. Well, maybe you was with a you broken what? woman and maybe if she was such a good woman, then you should have invested the time into making her feel comfortable and more secu secure. So you're basically saying it's my fault that this woman is broken? No, when you, no, when I you ain't step out of your fault, fault that you cheated. Exactly, no. But, it, but, but, but whenever a woman steps out into the dating field, you're supposed to be healed already. It is not my job to fix your past trauma. I ain't got nothing That's to do true. with that fuck nigga you was been with. That's been true. With. That ain't got nothing to do with me. So when you step your ass out there and put that tight ass dress on and want to goddamn be flirtatious and get your number out, you should come to me healed already. It is not my job to heal you. That's it true. is not my job oh, to cool. reassure you of past traumas. That nigga was the fuck nigga. I ain't got shit to do so with So it took true. six months for you to realize she wasn't healed? Pussy was good. Okay, well. <laughs> That's That's what I'm saying. You knew. That's why. You knew she was. So you think healed. I'm wrong? So you saying do you do y'all think that I'm I was wrong? Yes, because I'm gonna tell I'm you one go thing. Ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Off and That's on why she's broken him, in the first over place. The years and stuff like that. I still never cheated on that man. I decided to leave the situation and deuces. Simple as that. I'm not gonna play with your heart like that. I'm not gonna put you in a position where you have to feel less than the person that I thought you were or the person that you felt like you were to me. Mm. However, I will walk away from you because I realize that you're not the one for me. But don't mm -hmm. you think that's like a very small reason to just walk away from a whole marriage? Hell no, it's not. That's my mental. That's a, you, don't, you don't understand. Like It's almost like that's narcissistic behavior, mm. right? And I know people use that word a lot. Yeah. But as a person that's had anxiety since I was a little girl... That made my anxiety worse. The more I dealt with that, the more my anxiety got the best of me. Okay, and so you 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 told him that each time. That I he told did that. him every single time. I'm a very good communicator. Okay, and so you then you chose to leave, right? Yes. Okay. Because it well, never changed. Respectfully, so. How long y'all? So when hold on, hold on, Biz. So when that woman was accusing me of cheating, I told her every time. And you know what she said I when you I that. and you know what and you know what she said to me when I said you know what maybe we should just go our separate ways. Nigga, I key. Oh, Lord. I mean, he said hold on, hold on, hold on. Nigga, I key. One. Nigga, I know your social security number. Two. Um, I, nigga, I blackmail you. I tear this whole shit down that you working on. Three. So what are my options? Cheat on that bitch. File Thank a you. police report. <laughs> my God. <laughs> yeah. A restraining you order. Take the so in cheating on her, she didn't serious. do none of those threats. Nah, nah, nah. You gotta take them threats serious, bro. Yeah. I've been around women that unfortunately so I So you would take they, the threat serious yeah. but still cheat on the woman. That's what you're saying. I ain't got my own. No, no I, I didn't say nothing about that. Story. Some of y'all oh, saying no. you take some, some threats from, right, a, from a, yeah, you got some yeah. Sometimes men try to leave y'all, but y'all don't eat. Like if you in love with a nigga, and sometimes men try to leave and y'all threaten them niggas with, for leaving. Man, I've I don't seen, know nothing about look, that. Listen, you're gonna you're gonna okay, oh, cause y'all know y'all women will tear a nigga down. Y'all get on Instagram and talk not shit about me. Him, especially a man that got something to lose. And got, not and me. Actually, I got. Y'all women something. will make it hard as hell to leave, motherfuckers. Let bro. me tell you something. I'm listening. Somebody that gets hit on as much as I do. True. To be completely honest with you, I'm not begging no nigga to stay with me. If your ass want to walk away, go ahead and do what you gotta do, brother. That's the best thing I can tell you, cause you gonna hey, miss this. Mm. Hey, Biz. Mm. She ain't had that dick dick. Man, just talk to her. I get it. Talk to her. But hey, these crazy women oh, exist. Man. Hey listen. man, listen. These crazy women So exist, Candy brother. is here. <laughs> DC Barbie is here. <laughs> and the lovely Lena Renee is here. This is Trigger Alert. All my studio artists make some noise. Go ahead and get them likes up. We're gonna get to the next topic, man. We're gonna get to the next topic. <laughs> Oh man, that was a spicy one. I like that. Man, we got I got roll triggered. Up. I got triggered. A little light triggered. I got triggered. I got triggered. Man, e, we got any roll ups? Okay, ladies. Question. What is the most <laughs> What Appreciate is you, sir. What is the most expensive thing a man has bought you? We'll start with so candy. Cuz you're being a little too quiet over there. Um 
A guy gave me half a million dollars. Oh. Get that, that ugly money. Shit. Damn. 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 Oh, Damn. 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 That's not it. It's minute. Hold on. At this point. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold I need on. a moment. Yes, girl. Go ahead. I need a I moment. I need to marry you. I'm just playing. Shit. Shit. Take your shades off. Take them off. We need to chop this up. We uh, got to chop this up. And the question, and the question, and there's a continuation to the question. After that man gave that item to you, how long did you stay with him? Um, we were never together. Oh. That, that, that ugly Accusation. Hold on. Let her pop it. She popping it. She got to know something. I want to hear more. Talk about this <laughs> a little too. bit more, yeah, man. Candy. So where did you meet him and how did you uh, <laughs> break down? Let me get that sack up out you. <laughs> Um, I used to be a bartender. I met him at the bar that I was working at. Okay, and in Atlanta? No, Houston, Texas. In Houston. Shout out H-Town. Them niggas tricking out Houston. Them niggas big tricking out Houston. Them niggas big tricking. Big tricking. Big tricking. So here we go. Hold on. Go we ahead, not go done. Ahead, we got to get it in I'm there. out. I'm tricking. So Man. you met him at the bar, Candy, right? Boom. You are Candy doing your bar shit. He's doing his shit. So how does this go? We need to break it down. You gave him free drinks. So how did it <laughs> what happen? No, we just became good friends. We became really good friends. And um, I mean, he was a cool guy. I was a cool guy. And I mean, wait a minute. Girl, you was a cool. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> I'm drunk. It's I all got, we ain't tripping. We ain't tripping. No, he was he was a cool guy. I was a cool girl. And um, we just. We're cool. We were cool people. That's really it. Cool people. So yeah. you was cool enough. Cool. You was half of me. So y'all went cool. intimate or nothing? Oh, no. It's fucking. I'm not going to ask that, oh, Lena, because no, it's for no. half of me. No, we did not have sex. We were not intimate. Free game alert. Shots fired. Shots fired. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a motherfucking minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. My black Lena, please, let me get some, Lena. I don't know if I believe it. let me get some. Let me get some. Please, let me get some. Go ahead, Wait man. a minute now. So you're telling me, <laughs> I put that shit down. You telling me that, um, you, you telling me that a nigga gave you $500,000 cash money records because you cool? Yes. Because you a cool person. I call that motherfucking cap. Drop the bomb, that's cap. That's this capital. This shit is a motherfucking made up movie out of Brady Bunch. I don't believe it. <laughs> I need to feel a little bit better about this story. Amen. I do not know. In the, hey, hey now, nah, hold on. Amen. I need to feel it. I need to hear it. I need to hear it. Hold on, I need to hear it. Hold on, Biz. Hold on, Biz. This shit crazy hey, to me. Biz. Hey, Biz, I'm going to tell you this, though. If you see how the men look at goddamn so candy when she perform. It might, it hey, might listen, be respectfully, believable. Hey, don't get me to respond to that. Because you <laughs> they, know my response to that. I like say Chris, that shit, and then you, I'll be tripping. Hold on, bro. Yeah. What, what's, what's the name of the lady, Um, Helen of Troy, that had the people fight for? That, some women got them, them worldly worldly talents. Man, man. listen, man. I hear you need you. to come out with an e-course or Wait something to help yeah. e-girl. E-girl get $40 in Waffle House. Like, my life is crazy. <laughs> I believe you. No, I be, no, 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 no. I believe you 1,000%. I believe you with you saying that's that, amazing. just for saying that. But I do feel like there's some cap to that. It's got to be more to that story because a nigga didn't meet you at the bar okay. and just decided okay. to talk to you. So let me tell you. Yeah, so, thank okay. you. Let okay. you tell me something. So, Go ahead. He met Go ahead. me the at the bar. you talking yeah, about? He met me tell at the bar. Something. He met me at the bar. We were cool. Um, this one day we got lit, whatever. He's sending him Vegas bomb shit. He was older guy. He fell asleep and you hit him for the sack. Now that <laughs> makes me sick. Oh, yo, 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 yo. I like I like Shots. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Go ahead. Sorry, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Um, so Vegas bombs, whatever he lit, whatever. Uh, he's older guy. And um, he was coming to my bar all the time. And it was just very consistent. And one day he didn't show up. Okay. So I was like, okay, what the fuck? Where's he at? You know, whatever, because he was tipping me very well. Tipping very him well. on the phone. And he was in the hospital. Oh. So I went to visit him at the hospital. Oh, that's Just dope. because, I, you know. Oh, that's all. Right. Oh, this right. shit sounded oh, a little different. Right. Now you oh, making no sense hard. with yeah. this shit. Yeah. Okay. Let him talk. Let him cook. Move. Let him cook. Go ahead, cook. Talk Katie. to me. Go I ahead, cook. I went to visit him at the hospital, and, you know, we became more acquainted or whatever. He apparently got sick, but he faked his whole entire thing and um 
he I took his... care of him at his beach house oh, in shit. Houston, and in between that time, we went to the bank, and he did his thing. You know That's what? Like, this this okay. sounds okay. Now I get it a little bit better. This yeah. sounds a little, now I understand. Okay, so you found you an old nigga. <laughs> you worked the move. No, now you, because now, because when you like, I met a nigga at the bar, he gave me 500,000, you know, we cool. No, no, no. I get it. You met an old nigga. You worked the move a little piece. He was like, oh. I don't think she was working the move. I think he wanted what? to work she, move. She said he was tipping very well from the front, though. What she I, worked what the move. What I'm saying is she ain't Respectfully. Ask, Respectfully. She ain't asked the nigga for, you ain't asked, did you ask him for five? Yeah. Can I have a half a million dollars, okay. please? Hold on. I don't How think was so. he tipping you? Wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Let me do, let me see something. Go ahead. When you say tipping you very well, so say he pull up to the um, whatever bar y'all was at and he used to, you know, get his drinks and his ones and twos for the night. When you say tipping you very well, what do you call that? Um, I don't know. It wasn't like great tip. It was like $100, maybe. Yeah, no, that's yeah, great that's at the bar for like a nigga ain't tipping you $100. At, am I tripping? Yeah, he ho, fuck it and suck it for $100. That's what I'm about to say. $100. Niggas ain't tipping you. Hey, here's a hundred dollars at the bar. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so boom, he was tipping a hundred. That's the biggest tipper. Does that? I think that's big, more average than like a. The average tip will be like ten, twenty dollars. Twenty percent. No, yeah. Eighteen, <laughs> really. He was definitely a cool guy, and we. It wasn't like we were just really cool. Like we were just really cool. We were great friends. Right, right. We would laugh. You we better be. Fun shit together. Right, right, right. I was telling something. Listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. Yeah, so it was cool. It we was cool. Y'all cool. was cool. Let her cook. Bitch. Go ahead. Go ahead. I want to hear the story. He's like, ahead. that's it. That's, that's all. It. <laughs> the end. There's like no. There's no. There's no hook or nothing. There's just. No. He's hook. just like, hey, I'm gonna go to the bank and it's gonna give you five hundred thousand. Yeah, it was just like that. Yeah. Was it one withdrawal or was it over time? You mean, or did he pull out the whole? Um. No. How did there that was, go? There was a couple. He, you know. Why? Okay, he didn't I pull out. I should not be telling this story. No, no it's coming. You inspiring you young bartenders all over the world. You should probably this drop his a, Instagram. No, you this should. Is, there's, a lot of girls, there's a lot of girls that would probably want to no. hit him up. No, 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 we ain't going to do that. Because I got some, I know some girls out in Augusta <laughs> that would have goddamn cleaned that nigga clock, boy. <laughs> boy, I'm talking about, boy, they would have threw that shit on him, boy. So hold on, wait. She, say she didn't get a whole file. Okay, this is what. Okay. He didn't pull out a whole 500 no, done. There was a, it was in increments. No. He might have had a safe he, somewhere in there. Talk to <laughs> yeah, so it was multiple times, was different amounts, but then one time he just did a, a, a half a million dollar purchase. I'm in the wrong business. Sierra, can you teach me how to be a bartender? Hey, listen. This is real live pimping and finessing, and I love every minute of it. I don't think that she finessed him, no, bro. It was great finesse, I love it. I love it. It was a great job. Yeah, that nigga just. No, not in a bad way. You didn't take nothing. No, I like her finesse, and it's not. Hey, hold on, man. Y'all getting it twisted. She didn't finesse. She didn't finesse. That's, like, that's the same thing as somebody going to buy you. It's finesse. If he do a hundred dollar tips, that's finesse. But him not nah, getting no just... him not getting no ass is crazy. Yeah, no, yeah, that's good money. Him not getting no ass. Listen. Hey, man. This shit is a finesse. This is the greatest one I heard in a while, and I love it because <laughs> I'm like, wow. Bitch asked me for. Hey, oh, she, she, bitch asked me for a hundred. I'm like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, what are, <laughs> hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, she peeped the game. This is not, listen, this is about, to me, young ladies that's watching, I need y'all to focus for a second. Y'all, yeah, we have a lot of fun. Hold on. She needs to come me, out with a course. Give me some bombs and get ready for me. I'm finna go in. Handle your business. Women, y'all are watching this, and we have a lot of fun and have a lot of fun, and it's great. But y'all need to take lessons from this young lady because what she was, She's she was go. a visionary. She's a visionary. <laughs> See you now. Respectfully. Visionary no, I'm, is I'm big. I'm giving you a lot of props right now. That's why. Because I'm not doing nothing. I'm saying you're a visionary. That means you can see <laughs> If you know what a visionary is, that means you could see it before it. You get what I'm trying to say? So she was a visionary and she's uh, seen it. Instead of you wasting that time and doing things that's really not, you need to see things before it happens. Sometimes you might just see something and be like, man, I ain't got no time for this or none of this or this, that, and the third. Logo. No, you need to see the logo. logo. Okay, my bad, my bad. You need to see the vision. 
You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, and that go for you niggas too. We go break it down. It, a visionary could be a woman, a man. We not, it ain't no tripping on it. Sometimes it might not be right there at that moment, but you need to understand and see it when it come and know how to move on it and move in the right direction because that could be the moment right there for you to pump up and do what hey you man, need to do. Miss Candy, Thanks. can you give us some advice? Can you give us some advice? Please, ma'am. Because there's, there's, there's women out here uh, that are doing way more. For way less. For so much less. Woo! For $40. In Waffle Woo! House. Woo! Speaking of which, I want some Waffle House. But anyway, um, <laughs> uh, can you give any tips to a woman that may aspire to receive a half a million dollar gift? Oh, my gosh. Let her cook. Yo. <laughs> Wow, I'm. Candy, you see, this no, gonna okay, go so great. Okay, so this is what I would say. I would definitely great. say, be kind to your men. Like, um, treat your men like kings. Um, be submissive. That, that, that ugly Everything money. that I feel like every ugly money was talking about earlier. I just genuinely feel like I'm just a very traditional woman, though. So like, I don't know. Just be kind. She give me all motherfuckers a I tried to tell her. Listen, lady. I'll be quiet, bitch. I'm drinking it. I tried to tell her. Sometimes you just gotta be nice. You just gotta be feminine. You just gotta be in your soft girl energy. You can get whatever you want out of us. But when you give us that masculine energy, ladies, we're going. To give you nothing but hard dick and bubble gum. That, that, that ugly moment. Shouts out to you, Miss Candy. That, that, that ugly. You deserve that shit. Okay, I'm sorry. I got triggered in a good way. My bad, man. My bad. I'm shut up. Shut up. VC Candy. VC Candy. Goddamn, I'm fucking it up. Yeah, gifts. Oh, man. I oh, hope y'all taking right, notes. Ma'am. Hold on. She has gifts, Nietzsche. What do you have, ma'am? Go ahead. Get in there, sir. Oh. Get in there. We got gifts. And you know what, so Candy, I'm going to salute you so much because you're the very first person to come and give gifts on the joint. So salute to you so much. We appreciate this you showing This girl love. is amazing, See, This bro. is real pimping. I and y'all, this is real pimping. We gave Hey, we gave y'all real pimping on this show. listen. Fuck, And you know what, though? I'm going to open this up right now. Bro, you know what it is? It's genuine, though, bro. No, this is no, this is pimping it is finest. And you know what? When you say you from uh, Illinois, where you from? Illinois. Salute to Illinois and everything y'all got going on because y'all produce some Bro, real strong you shit. You see what it is? Yeah. Zoom in, sir. Zoom in on that. Get in there. Bro. Get in there. <laughs> now I can take so candy everywhere. I can take her everywhere I go. Yeah. Hey man, this is amazing. He's going to be at home licking the shirt tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Thank you so much. This is so sweet of you. This is it's a card. There's a, yeah, there's a it's a card. <laughs> there's a card in there. Read the card, VC. She card. took the read time the out to, read it. to write a card. I'm reading the card. Give me read the second. card. The card is uh, Biz. That's me. Oh, it's a picture. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I'm looking at the picture. Uh, uh, biz, f- uh, f- um, what did that say right there? <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you for inviting me to the show today. You are very appreciated. Love oh, so extra. candy. Drop a bomb for love so candy. Let's this go. is the biggest. She did her thug thing, ma'am. What you know say, what? You're the first one to come with gifts. I'm still on the picture. <laughs> no, I'm wearing Get this off on the, the picture. Hey, look, Let us hear what she fine. said. You can look, oh the my next God. episode we have, I'm going to personally find footwear for this. Look at this right here. It's going to have black and pink. I'll find something. Bro, she got my size, I'm right, bro. No, she did. She that. got she a big nigga size, bro. I'm <laughs> Salute. Listen, so candy. I see how you got your half. Of can I read my card now, sir? I see how you got can your half. Can I read my card? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Is this camera on me? <laughs> Ugly money, Nietzsche. <laughs> Thank you so much for always being so kind. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> You've never had a problem with sharing your huge platform with me. 
I appreciate that so much. Thank you a million times. Love, so candy. Hey, man. Thank you so much. If I didn't have the trip over cords, I'd give you a big ass bear hug right now. I feel, thank you so much. Hey, man. This is me. Make sure y'all go to SoCandyOfficial.com to get yours today. You can get a shirt like me. So, uh, so what is it? Hold on. Uh, so, me. No, I'm about to promote you for so every candy day official. for a while. Make sure y'all tap in. Yeah, she got. No, she did it the right way. I yeah, appreciate listen, you so thank much. Thank you so much. You came and you came with gifts. She I threw me off. I appreciate your energy right now. She you threw me a off. Very great job. And you was over it. there. You was over there talking about she. She's finessed your ass, nigga. No, she. Oh, no, hey. No. You I, hey, look. You know what? I see how she got her. Hey, ma'am, you just, one of them ones. It's genuine. No, you're one of them ones. The thing I that the respect thing, it. And I the gotta thing, respect it. The thing that I be harping and preaching on is it's, 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 it's not oppression. I promise you it's not. It's the fact of the matter is that women, a lot of women don't understand just how powerful y'all are. Right. Stand a man. You can get literally anything from a man. Literally. With the right type of attitude. We work hard to give it to y'all. Mm. All you have to do mm. is just make the right moves. I know that's right. Sometimes it ain't even a move. It's just being quiet. Yep. And some women find it that offensive. But sometimes you just got to yeah. go in. Yeah, hey, hold on. You're right. There's nothing. They find it <laughs> offensive. Hold on. Okay. They find things offensive, and there's nothing wrong with being submissive. That don't mean a nigga trying to handle you. That don't mean a nigga wants you to be whatever, whatever. And I ain't it's, saying nobody up here is not submissive. I'm not yeah, saying that. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, I'm saying, saying But I, I don't think sometimes it, it get the wrong vibe on it. Like, you're uh. supposed to take a certain type of behavior, a certain type of... When a nigga say submissive, that's not what it's about. Like it's a respect. nigga walking. Yeah, it ain't respect. about no oppression or walking over you. It's like it's nigga vibe off female energy because it's a nigga. I was trying to make yeah. a point. Especially okay. if you doing your one and two out here. So it's like you out here going through it with the whole world to so, do what you need to do to get where you trying to go on. When you come home, you don't want to compete with your so woman. So, ladies, free Ever. game. Free game come alert. On. Free game alert. Free game alert. Take this from a man that... I might not have five hundred thousand dollars to get that, that, that ugly Ooh. money, <laughs> but I might have a little five hundred. Five hundred. <laughs> I'm good for the five hundred. If you find a way to be a man's peace and his pleasure, if you find a way to, to to respect that man, if you operate in your soft girl energy, if you're dealing with a real man, we are geared to give. We are geared to care for and protect and provide. We are geared to pour into you. That's what that's what our job on this earth is. Don't make it weird for us. Mm. Right. No mm. man wants to unless you're one of those type of people, no man wants to give to another man. Mm. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Mm. Unless you're mm. that. Mm. No, we want to give to a woman that is willing to receive mm. and receive with respect, love, and admiration. You can get whatever you want out of a man Facts. just by being nice, kind, and feminine. Facts. That, that, that ugly that's, that's my that's my thing. Just gave somebody twelve that's money. Salute my baby. I, I can I totally under, I totally understand why you got five hundred thousand though. Hey, no, I get this shit right here. This shit to make I a nigga gave crap. twelve hundred away like yesterday, but you made me feel <laughs> fucked up. My little 1200, I, I thought I did something positive in the community. Oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah, hold that. I love, you know, it's Tricked love. Off, you do I bam? You off that she can't, yeah, yeah, I had to. I had, no, no, baby mom, baby mom gonna get that because she do her one, two. For so sure. I, I had to get that. Shout out, baby mom. Yeah, shout out, baby mama. So, well, I thought I did something with 1200. Yeah. You what did. The, I didn't do a motherfucking yes, thing. A nigga did. gave 500,000 away. I just, I just, hey, pray, man. I just, I just fuck. Pray, I just, he clearly I, had it to get. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Respectfully. Yeah. Yeah. He was a generous yeah. man. I'm not going to overlook that 1200, baby. No, no, no. We right. won't. In day. America, we won't. Not exactly. tonight. We won't overlook it. Don't you ever feel like that's not doing the community? We won't overlook it. Yeah, we ain't going to water you down, sir. We won't do that. You know, we ain't, we ain't gonna water you down. Happy but, Mother's Day please. behind that. Happy but, Mother's Day to the good mothers. Happy but, Mother's Day. But after yeah. after the show, um, um, Candy, um, let's give me that nigga information. You might want to, you know, invest in something. Yeah. 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 Andy got enough to invest. We'll so about, we don't need his we'll information. About, and talk about this him investing in his big platform. <laughs> uh, VC VC Barbie. Same question. What is the most expensive thing a man has ever purchased you? Um, a house and a car. You've been a wife, so bro, I'm getting yeah. washed out here. Oh, bro. No, uh, no, respectfully, she said she was married, so I get that. 
if you if that's my woman, you gonna get yeah. That makes sense, respectfully. Yes, a house and a car. How long? How long does that does that buy him time? If I buy you a house and a car, how long? Is it before you nag, bitch, or complain about anything? Do I get like a year off? No. I'm not going to say that you get a year off or anything like that, but at the end of the day, it does help with what you're going through at that time. My thing is, I just want you to be somebody that's trying to be a better version of yourself. Mm -hmm. Because I am every day trying to be a vegetable. Well, I'm not trying. I am every day becoming a better version of myself. Amen, Pop it. My only competition is me. Come on. So every Pop day it. I wake up to be a better VC. Amen. You know, so I need my man to be that as well. Mm. And that was, like I said, that was the that was the only thing between the two of us that just wasn't there. That, that, that ugly mother. Yeah. He bought the house. Mm. He bought the car. You should. It's his wife. You should buy that stuff for your wife, brother. Not for these hoes. I don't. You hoes better figure it out. But your wife, you, you supposed to. <laughs> you, still, your wife, you supposed to. You supposed to buy that. But he still lost the. And girl. I was the only woman that he ever done anything like. The, like and anything you know like what? That for man, hold I mean, on. I can even say my ring. Hold know? on, man. Hold because on. At the end hold of the on. Day, most he ain't that bad because like you trying to make him sound so bad. He had to be That's something. The ring? Listen, oh, you still got it. I would never in a million years try to make what it ring. Like Wait, he's a that's the real ring for him. Let her cook, bro. This was this was our um my marriage ring. Oh shit! You, are you, you said you were zoom in on that. Yeah. Whoa, zoom, whoa, whoa! Zoom in on that. That, that, that ugly money. Why the fuck you got the ring on? <laughs> what you mean? It's mine. Zoom he in still on got his. Stay and zoom in on it. One thing about it is, one thing about it is, I needed my nigga to bling too. See, that's the Ooh. difference between dealing with a bum. Preach it, baby. Yeah, yeah, talk talk. Talk. I never dealt really with a bum, bitch. You couldn't be talking cook, to me. Sir, let her cook. So, she cook it. That's why I went over there. Oh, okay. okay. I'm talking to you, okay. but I went over there. Uh-huh. Okay? I like it. He had rings with diamonds in it, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's money. So that's he didn't have to something. buy his own ring. Neither did he have to walk around and not with bling without me because he was also a representation of who I am. Mm. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah, this oh. guy sounds amazing. Bro. Wait a minute. <laughs> nah, we this gonna guy, do that. I, Wait a I, minute. He sounds man. amazing. <laughs> Wait a minute. He sounds like a great guy. Okay, he does. Fast forward to this though. <laughs> you still have your wedding ring and band on. How long have you been divorced? I have it on this finger. Uh, wait a minute. Oh. You know, a nigga don't know the difference to your left. Don't do that. It's the same thing. <laughs> you see something? I got it on this like a nigga what? like, oh, that's the right hand. Real men don't, know the difference. N women, nigga don't know that. No, shit. real men how know the difference. Have, how long have you been um, separated? We've been three years. Man, why you still got that motherfucking ring walking around? Drop a bomb for what the hell you still got that ring walking around and doing your thing. What's why do you still have it on? It's my jewelry I'm and it's not on my wedding a, finger. Is that a wedding band beside it in front of it? Respectfully, this, these are my rings. Whoa, I'm just asking one simple you question. Got the piss a wedding? Is it a <laughs> wedding trend? You were <laughs> asking me wedding? questions, but you're not receiving my answers. Ooh. I'm receiving your information. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to give you something, but you're not understanding what I'm saying. Make it make sense. Talk to every me. man doesn't take back a ring because every Whoa. man doesn't deal with a bum. <laughs> oh, who the he hell? Whoa! He never desired to take back my jewelry. Now it's just jewelry, so it's on this finger. Ma'am, it's not over said, here on my wedding finger. Nobody said anything okay, about taking said. back jewelry. No, well, you got it. You got out of bounds. Plenty men, nobody said nothing plenty about men that. Plenty take back jewelry. No, not one time. Yep. In Guys a, like me, I'm taking my shit wait, back. Wait, 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 Thank you so much point. for being I'm, real. That's not the point I'm trying to get at. <laughs> like, I'm not talking about he should have took the ring back. Oh, I'm trying to figure out why the fuck are you still wearing it? What's she supposed because to do with it? Because it's just jewelry now. What's she supposed to do with should it? Should I just Pond and put it, it in there? That's why I asked you if it was a wedding band in front. That's what I just asked you. Is, was there a wedding band in front of the ring? That's what I'm... Do you know how many women still have their jewelry? 
Is that a yes or a no? What the hell? I'm yeah, asking I, you, is it a wedding band, man? No, it's no longer a wedding band. Okay, that's what I it's was asking jewelry. you. It's jewelry. That's what I've been saying you. that like five, six times. It's not jewelry. It's something you got when you got married. Sweetheart, it's just jewelry ma'am, now. We're ma'am. not married anymore. It's jewelry to her, biz. It's, it's jewelry. jewelry. She, just, she didn't get it as jewelry. So question, Ms. She got a wedding Ms. band. Miss VC Barbie, question. Who the hell are you talking what about? It's jewelry. Question. No, a nigga if proposed with that. ever shut up. Okay, Biz. What the hell are you talking about? I know you triggered. Biz is Trigger. Yeah, he's triggered. triggered. He's triggered. Yeah, I'm triggered. triggered. Okay, it's okay. Because he's talking about it's jewelry. I got no, it's uh, not. It's a wedding it band. Nigga got on his knee and proposed. Man, okay. that's different. When from we split ju- up, okay. So, so I take it off. His jewelry? No, I didn't tell you he should have took it back. Take it, it off back. and do what with it? Whatever you feel like, but you're walking around with I'm wedding jewelry on your like hand. You telling me that I shouldn't be doing that? It's the. It gives the impression that you're married. If you have the wedding band and the wedding shit on your hand, that I'm married when it's over here. This I is just my told marriage you. finger. When you get married in America, Make I don't know where you're from. Make a nigga know the difference between your America. left and your right yes, hand. Yes, men do. Yes, yes, yes men, men do. do. Like, what are we doing? Michi, you, you don't, don't know the difference about between a wedding band and a wedding finger? Michi, that nigga don't know that shit. Michi, 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 you know. You don't know. What the fuck you talking about? Tell me, what do you know? Okay, go ahead, baby. Go ahead, baby. No, it's not my fault that you don't know the difference between a wedding finger and... Uh, just jewelry. Yeah, that's yeah, that's 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 Preach, you queen. For that. Right, right, right. Preach, that's queen. your problem. Your Talk parents should have taught you better. I don't have a problem. Who is that? Your right parents should have taught you better. Ma'am, I think it's you who do it. I think you do it too much. I'm already relaxed. To my, my parents. I'm what are you talking relaxed. about? You being disrespectful <laughs> to bring my parents up and talk about your wedding your ring. No, you need to relax. Don't get out of bounds. All right, and the mics are off, man. This episode is being brought to you by... In God's rejuvenation team, promoting erections, improving stamina. They're still going. They're triggered. Uh, improving stamina, size, endurance, and libido. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Trigger Alert. So Candy is here. <laughs> Biz Just Chill is here. DC Barbie is here. Lena Renee is here. And their mics are off and they're still going. <laughs> All right, sit down. They can't hear you, bro. They can't hear you. They can't hear y'all. They can't hear y'all. Still can't. It's 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 okay. It's so okay. hey, come it down. Biz, biz, biz. It's it's over. It's over. They're triggered. Your mic is off, sir. Your mic is off. You're just talking. You're sh- we got we gotta get to the next person. It's your mic's off. Are y'all good? Okay, stop, stop. So, Miss VC Barbie, the question, Biz, please, please, please. The question is, when it, with a man, uh, you're, you're up, you're up, you're up. Uh, with, with a man buying you a house, a car, that amazing ring, do you think that another man coming into that, trying to date you, would be intimidated by that? No. So at no point in time, if I am a guy that's trying to date you and I know that I can't afford a ring like that and I know that I can't buy you a house and I know that I can't buy you a car, should I at some point still try to pursue you? And it, would it be attainable? Yeah, why not? Because I can't give you what your last nigga gave me. You left his ass. Okay, but what he couldn't give me was peace. Mm. That, that, that ugly money. Amen, okay, okay. This, 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 this is an auxiliary question. Auxiliary question. I it mean, I explained to you guys what was going on, and you all said everybody agreed that they would not want to be dealing with something like that. No, for sure. For instance, for sure. if I was here, like I'm gonna repeat this for because sure. maybe I didn't come across the first time. For sure. If I was here with you guys, yes. and I'm simply doing a podcast, yes. and then I'm going straight home after this because it's late at night, I'm fucking you and I'm fucking him. That's automatic. So you I don't just, understand why I would want to be with somebody like that sh- or anybody else. Should have just did it. <laughs> I just All right, same question, Lena Renee. <laughs> Listen, at this point, I don't even think I should go. <laughs> I'm like, she got 500K. She got a house, a car, a damn $500,000 ring on her finger. I just, next question. <laughs> Uh, baby, clearly they ain't doing enough for me. I'm, I'm trying to figure out. 
Hey man, I, Candy, you know, I need some what, lessons. I, I'm trying to tell you, right? Uh, baby, you listen. listen. <laughs> I'm trying I, to figure maybe, it out. Because I'm maybe nice that's too. See, I'm from Arkansas. I'm now a country really, girl. I'm, I'm real nice. sweet. Salute to Arkansas. I'm real Little sweet. Rock. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not from Little Rock. Either. I'm from Fort Smith, Arkansas. Okay. Come on. So, uh, but I did just get my bartending license. So maybe yeah, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get in where I fit in. I'm just saying. Like, I'm trying to get in where I fit in. Take care of them old niggas. Clearly, Take care clearly, of all clearly I haven't been doing something like <laughs> <right now. laughs> yeah. that. I ain't been proposed to yet. She done got a house, a car, a ring. She over here with five, half a million you have, dollars. You, you, have, you have young ladies that you could talk to I right mean, now and receive the information. You know you what? Pass I feel notes. like I got pretty, yeah. I feel like I got pretty got, good game too, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do, but clearly. Yeah. To, be honest with you, to be honest with you, in my situation, it wasn't so much about game dealing with this man. He wanted something that was real. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? So he stopped through all the game with all these women and stuff like that. Like I said, a, a lot of stuff that he did for me, he had never did for any other woman mm -hmm. because I was real. You know, the yeah. game is not to be played on every single, I don't think game is supposed to be played, period. But if that's your thing, then that's your thing. However, if you're looking for a husband, Games need to stop. Amen. Yeah, no, I don't play games. When I say game, I mean I got a good mouthpiece. I mean, like I'm a very uh, a sweet, good, a good mouthpiece. Yeah, yeah, in all kind of ways. So I'm, I'm a very sad person, though. Know? Like I'm like literally one of the most genuine people that anybody that I've ever like. I all of go. my exes would take me back to this day. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I'm, I'm a good person. Like I don't really, and I've been single for a long time. But I'm, people. I'm waiting. I'm waiting on my husband to come to me. I'm not looking for. For any man, any man, you know what I mean. I feel like the man is the seeker, so I'm waiting. Biz, I gotta ask you a question though, sir. What is the most expensive thing that you've ever bought for a female? I just bought twelve hundred. Ah! That was the most expensive thing. Oh no, that that wasn't the most expensive. What's the most expensive thing? The most expensive. In the logo, sir, you triggered. And the most expensive thing, um. I think it was like a, a, a said, weekend joint. No, no, it was like a weekend <laughs> joint. So it wasn't like a specific, uh, it was like over, you know what I mean? So it'd be like a vacation. A, yeah, or some shit like that. It was probably like a 35, 40, 45, 35, 45. 4,500, 45,000. Yeah, no, we talking. So, so 3,500, 4,500, 3,500, 4,500, 3,500, 4,500. The fuck? We 30. back in the real world. <laughs> <laughs> What you talking about? <laughs> yeah, you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these yeah. women ain't got. Quit and not talking about bad. anybody in the thing, but I'm saying, yeah, Quit you know what I mean. No, yeah, it was bad. like 35, 4500. That's fair. I, I got out of my that. body yeah, a little bit, you know what I mean. I but I did just spend 1200 yesterday though, for sure. Period. And that was on all of the. Shout out to Mama too. Mama got her Woody Wham Bam slam. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got Mama right. We did early Mother's Day. Mother, yeah, niggas, women, make sure y'all take care of y'all Mama. <laughs> Back. Listen, back. now we got. Wait a minute. I don't care. Wait a minute. Always we need back. everybody to be respectful, especially if that's who raised you and do 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 do. Yeah. And it's not about the money. You don't have to do nothing big financially if you could be might not in a position to do that. And I respect that because I've been there. You know what I mean? But you know, take the time, reach out. The people that help raise you, especially mama. Mother's Day is coming up. Sometimes people feel, hey, I forgot. I didn't realize. I'm giving you a PSA, nigga. Mm -hmm. It's coming up. You understand yeah, me? Yeah, so make sure mind. you need to do what you need to do. And for your mother, especially, and for the, the mother of your kids, make sure. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So you think, you think even if you were not with the mother of your kids, would you still get her a Mother's Day gift? Um, now, nah, you know, you know my situation. Can I interrupt you real quick? <laughs> you know my situation. Oh, oh, I don't think first. about that. I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about that. Because we go viral I, right now. Hey, I, no, 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 don't no, go no, viral. What you no, just no, said, no, though, no. listen, what you just said, um, giving, you know, thanks to your, an appreciation to your mother, I really appreciate you saying that. My mother passed away on Valentine's Day, so. Yeah, 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 ugly. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry to hear that, babe. I'm sorry to hear that. Can we switch seats? Because she was touching on your arm and I want some of that action. Ah. Whoa, you gotta relax. I gotta relax. Yeah, we got to keep uh, it smooth right now. Obviously, I'm not doing enough. No. Because I've, I've never, I've never gave it half a million away. Man. No. I never I, did that. I've Man. never bought a house and a car. Man. Were you I did married? That, a I house did or that. a car? Were you I've married? Done that. I did that um, and I did that. I did that a couple times or. in my listen, lifetime. Listen, listen. Were you married, Nietzsche? Um. No, I've never been married. 
Okay, well I've then never, I wouldn't expect that from a man that's not married. But obviously I'm not doing. Were you married? No. Shit, he ain't no, even getting no. up. No, no, I haven't been. No. But you bought somebody a house and a car. You what? My my mother the house. And I'm the talking about a woman you date, nigga. No, the female yeah. the car. The we ain't talking about mama. Do no, we just talking about mamas. Wait, yeah, wait. Yeah, wait. Wait, a minute. wait a minute. Wait a minute. We ain't talking about them. You know. Okay, I'm the female. Wait. Yeah. The female. I respect the female, your mama. The female, the mama. female the wheels. The house. Mom. Yeah. Okay. So you bought a chick a car before? For sure. For sure. You put a down payment. No, you cashed out. That Oh, well, see, that's different. The biggest part. Okay. That's different. Yeah, that's a huge difference. A lot of cars. The biggest part. Yeah. yeah. That's a difference. Now, listen, let me get, can I get yeah, in there real quick. Difference. Wait, man, let me get that's in there real quick. One yeah. thing about me. Oh, hey, look, Nietzsche pop his, how he pop his, I pop mine. But check this. One thing about me. A car? Wait a minute. Loyalty to me, like the female that, that I know. I don't give a fuck about these random um, pissy pussy hoes. Y'all will figure it out. <laughs> I know You'll that's be right. okay. I, I don't right. care about your lifestyle. Yeah. The women that I know that when I was going through certain things that was there and I know that I can, like, they, they stood the test of time, I don't question their game. I respect I don't, that. I don't try to figure out what you would do. Whoop. I don't even, it don't matter if they even ask. If, it, if, I, if I'm in the position to do, it's always going to be. Uh, get done Facts, with no question. You already know they so was down from the, they was down different. from the get go. But one thing we won't be doing though, and God's green earth and all that good shit, like all y'all random little bitches, like I'm not that guy for that. I don't care no, about, no, 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 bro. Come on, on man. Okay. All that so, random shit, I'm dead. I'm the most dead. expensive thing I've ever bought a woman. What you got? About three, two, three years ago. What was the ticket? I bought I bought a lot of different things, but <laughs> but like one singular. You can add that shit up ex. too, brother. No, no, no. I'm gonna do one thing. Yeah, one thing. I bought one of my exes a car. See? You tripping on me, buddy. You bought the car or you put a down payment? No, baby down? girl, I bought the oh, car. Oh, okay, because see, okay. he put a down payment. I, put I just want clarification. I put a down payment. Is this camera so. on me? <laughs> I bought one of my exes a car so that motherfucker could leave. Oh, and that's exactly what happened. I bought the car that's so crazy. she could deal. I'm like, what is it going to take you to get out of my house? She's like, I don't have a car to leave. I'm like, all right, cool. I get you. She got a goddamn Nissan Altima. You, you smart. And that's what you know I did. Wow. 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 You know what? Nissan Altima. Altima. You, you know what? Altima. You fix your problem with her. You know what? She got a car. So What's wrong with a Nissan Altima? What's no, wrong that's with a great car for a woman. Hold on, hold on, sir. Hold on. I might be triggered over here. What's wrong with a Nissan Altima? She had to pay for it. Listen, 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 listen. Uh, uh, listen, uh, listen. Uh, 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 for me, it's going to be different because I'm not going to buy myself that. So for her... You know, it's 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 a nice skill. It's if somebody nice doesn't have a car, ain't nothing wrong with a Nissan Altima. Exactly. And see, that's true. the problem with y'all women, goddammit. Y'all no, ever want to appreciate what a man brings to the table? Y'all always want to water up down. If you walk in and I buy you a bike, you should be motherfucking thankful for the goddamn bike. If you goddamn ain't, if you walk in and I buy you a Ford Tempo or a Pinto, you should be happy with that. Bitch, if you walk in and I get you a horse and buggy, you should be motherfucking satisfied with that shit. Y'all always want to water a nigga down. Oh, a Nissan Sentra, I would never drive that. At the end of the day, your ass walking with, uh, with an Uber home, ho. I need my appreciation. I need my brownie points for that goddamn. That Nissan also cost me 4500 4500 4500 4500 4500 okay. oh was on the way out like a lot I, of women in the I literally right cuz you know a lot of times in our lives is I don't men, like over talking people No no I, I respect it yeah cuz that's why I cut your mic so cuz y'all be trying to over talk me but um, <laughs> a lot of times in a man's life he has to pay to try to keep a woman right and then you get to a certain plateau in your life where you got to pay them motherfuckers to leave but this goes back to what I was saying earlier, Listen, Nietzsche. Go ahead. <laughs> the difference is. I don't think it's a difference, but go ahead. The I'm woman gonna, that you met. I'm listening. And that you chose to make your personal peace, as he said. She was right? peaceful. She obviously she was wasn't very that peaceful. much peace. Mm -hmm. Because you wanted her out of your life. She, right. No. So she couldn't have been too much peace. <laughs> this right? is true. This is true. Okay, but this is the woman that you chose to be your peace. Yeah. 
B, I need you to listen to this. Oh, come on, right? Come on, come on. I need you to listen. Okay, so you chose Ma'am. this woman to be your personal <laughs> let her, piece. Let her cook. She didn't even have a car. Didn't even have no car. I don't. She don't, I don't agree call with that. So on, she so had to, to settle for that Nissan Altima. Settle. <laughs> yes. Me buying a woman a car is her settling. What you mean? Me doing for a woman more than she can do for herself is her settling. Listen no, to what I'm, I'm saying. No, I'm settling. God damn it, I'm the nigga that's making the money. I'm settling. Yeah, if my goddamn halfway oh, rich ass on the weekends want to deal with your goddamn little penny in the ass, I'm settling. I can't stand women with this I'm settling shit. I'm settling. If I make more money than her, I'm settling. <laughs> Not she. She ain't settling. I'm not settling. She. Listen, she's not settling she. for Nobody a niece. said you're, that you're you weren't settling. You got a car. I don't want to talk you got to a you car. A car. I don't care what kind of car it is. That's not a settle. That's a blessing. Okay. Nobody said that you weren't settling. Okay. okay. I know you're going to use this shit for Instagram and for all sure, that for shit. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, I hope people actually take the time to come and watch this video. No, that's dope. You know, I'm not saying that you didn't settle. Okay. All I'm saying is she had to. She didn't have a choice because mm-hmm. that was all that she could get at that moment. Mm. Somebody like myself. Sometimes people go through I don't want like that. Bitch. But sometimes people so go through that. So I put myself in a position where I could get what I actually want. Respectfully mm-hmm. so. But you know what? Period. But you know what? Sometimes people go through things. Sometimes people have lows. Sometimes people lose jobs. We don't know everybody's situation. Everybody's not up all the time. And you know, if you if if you care about somebody or love somebody, that's when that significant other should come into play and pick you up when you're down. Listen. Now, did she have a car when I met her? Of course. That's but, beautiful. You know what I'm saying? What you just I said was is there beautiful. For her. Play the play the sad music. B, I was there for that woman. B, I was B, there B, for that woman when nobody B, else was. I want you to get you a good wife. Okay. Go ahead. Listen to me, Nietzsche. <laughs> I don't want a good wife. You'll give me, I don't get one. I don't. I want you to, but you don't listen. I'm listening. I'm listening. You got a horrible. Cook, cook, you cook. got a horrible receiving energy. I'm listening. Mm-hmm. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. What you. I'm trying to get you to understand, Nietzsche, is okay. You can meet somebody that's going through something. True. Mm-hmm. But you can also see the hustle in that mother. Sucker, she had hustle. Mm-hmm. In that mofo one. You understand what I'm saying? She had hustle. If she had hustled, then you hustle wouldn't have had to... I hustled her ass out the door. Get, get, get up. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Trigger yeah. Alert, man. Yeah. <laughs> we can't. We can't. Oh, uh, yeah. man. We got to go ahead. Um, from left to right, let's go ahead and get everybody's Instagrams and go ahead and uh, introduce you. Well, not introduce yourself. I guess, uh, yeah, just tell them where to follow you at so they can tap in with you. Go ahead, Biz. Yeah, yeah. it's your boy, Biz. Just chill. One word, B-I-Z-Z. Just chill all together. We appreciate our support. Uh, trigger alert. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Uh, Google me. Biz, just chill. Go ahead, Candy. Hi, my name's So Candy. You can follow me on Instagram, at Real So Candy. That's it. <laughs> and you can go to her website. Oh, you can yeah, go to yeah, my website. Oh, yeah, do that. See, you can Beckham go to my website. You can get my merchandise. SoCandyOfficial.com. Um, SoCandyOfficial.com. Correct. You know, all that I shit. I got you trapped. Don't worry about it. Salute the trap. Salute the trap. That's how Trap Beckham in the Trap Beckham in the building. Salute. DJ, Beckham. DJ, what they do, brother? Go ahead. Go ahead, Miss Barbie. All right. I'm VC Barbie, the peace bringer. You already know you can follow me at the official VC Barbie. That's V with the vagina. Mm. Yeah. On Instagram and all platforms. <laughs> yeah, ugly money. It's the V for me. The biggest oh, that's V. That's right, It's the V for me. And again, my name is Lena Renee. You can follow me on Instagram at Lena Renee. That's L E N A R E N E A. And all of my other pages are in my bio. So get with me. You can follow me at onlyfans.com backslash pool bell <laughs> I wear a red shirt with no pants and I put honey on bitches and make them say Christopher Robin <laughs> make sure you subscribe $55 a month False accusation. but uh, this episode is being brought to you by BU Clothing I got it on right now you gotta be you I gotta be me that's the way God intended make sure you go and google BU Clothing to get yours today cause this shirt is fly as hell and in Gorge Rejuvenation Team promoting erections, proving stamina, size, endurance, and libido. This has been Trigger Alert. My audience, make some noise! <laughs> 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 <laughs>